How to behave in internet chat rooms. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Cyberspace chat is a great way of connecting people with similar interests, but comes with its own etiquette, or netiquette, which may confuse or even intimidate a novice. We're going to show you how to take part in web chat without causing undue offence. This is based on advice from Miss E-Manners herself, Judith Kalos, renowned netiquette author and netmanner.com webmaster. Step 1. You will need A computer with an internet connection Step 2. Find the right chat room Whether you're interested in unusual pets, horoscopes or classic music, there's likely to be a chat room, discussion board or forum that caters for you. Have a search to find one you like. Step 3. Know the rules. The site will most likely have a rules or frequently asked questions page. Read them carefully. Many sites are very specific about what is allowed and what isn't, and you don't want to start off on the wrong foot. Step 4. Create a persona. To join the site, you'll need to input a username. It's not necessary for this to be your real name, Use any name you like. Many websites also like you to create a profile. This gives you a chance to let the other users know a little about you. However, it's not the place to enter any personal details, not even your surname. Step 5. Lurk before you leap. Before you post a message or jump into the conversation, lurk a little. Get a feel for the topic being discussed and the tone being used. This also stops you from repeating another user's posting. Step 6. Clarity. When you're ready to post a message, keep it to the same topic and be concise. No one will read a long involved block of text. On the same note, don't waste people's time by posting gibberish or by repeating yourself. This will make you very unpopular. If you're making a specific comment about an earlier message, include that part of the message as a quote with your response below. Step 7. Manners. Dominating the conversation is a no-no, as is making rude comments. If you wouldn't do it in real life, don't do it on the internet. Step 8. Grammar. Although the internet is less formal than other forms of written communication, the same grammatical rules apply. The only exception may be the use of acronyms such as BTW. By the way, LOL laugh out loud, or FYI, for your information. These acronyms change and develop all the time, so keep up with the zeitgeist. Never type in capitals, as it looks like you're shouting, which is rude. Avoid using excessive punctuation. You may think it emphasises your point, but it can make your comments appear sarcastic or even condescending. Read your message before you post it to make sure the meaning is clear, and to check for any mistakes. Step 9. Emoticons and smileys. Online communication lacks the tone and body language that we use to express ourselves in face-to-face -face conversations. Therefore, the use of smileys or emoticons are often applied to clarify the meaning of a posting. There are thousands of variations of these. If you're not sure of a particular smiley's meaning, have a quick internet search. Use these sparingly, a posting littered with smileys can be difficult to read. Step 10. Web Abuse All web chat rooms, forums and message boards have a moderator. Report any abusive messages to them. If you're the one posting the offending message, the moderator may well eject you from the site. Step 11. Safety Don't give out any personal details. This includes your address, phone number, bank details, full name, passwords or workplace. Be suspicious of people who ask to meet you in person. There is no guarantee that they have been honest about who they really are. Done.